among the four friends, all of them have achieved their design career, but no show for me. No career, no admission to my desired school that I want to go. No job, nothing. Of course, I was depressed. I was seriously depressed. I was frustrated. Did I kill myself? No. You know why? Because life has its own way of dealing with each and every one. So I sat down with myself one night and I asked myself, am I at the right place? Do I have the right friends? Do I have a family that supports? Do I have a good environment that will inspire me to be better? How is my relationship with God? Because He's the manual of my life. So therefore, I sat up and I said to myself, I think it is time for me to give an audit to my life. Do you think it's only businesses need auditing? No, you might have a business and that need auditing. They need to check if the inventories are right, if the checkbook balances. But even if just a common business need an audit, then tell me, why don't you think you need an audit in your life? So if you are going through similar situations with me, and you feel like you need an audit, then trust me girl, trust me gentlemen, for sure you also need an audit in your life. And maybe, in some way, somehow, you might find inspiration to also consider auditing your life. So please stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Yeah, hello, my name is Rolanda. This is your girl on Aika and once again, you're welcome back to the channel. So I'm a Ghanaian-based blogger. I blog about lifestyle, fitness, and practical life experience. Today, I'm going to share with you with practicals from my own personal experience how you can edit your life. First of all, I want you to know that everything comes with a manual. So, as you human being, because you also have a manual. And who is your creator? Who is a manufacturer? Definitely it is God who is a manufacturer. Therefore, if you need to revisit your manual, if you need to have 130% of auditing in your life, then you need to revisit the manual, which is good. So the first thing you do, if you really want to audit your life, is to go back to God and ask Him, why did you bring me to this world? And I can say that I've asked like 10,000 times. Billion times, God, why did you bring me to this earth? What is my purpose? What is my use? But if there is no use, then why did you bring me to this world? So, help me to find my use, my purpose. Well, it has taken me years. I wanted to be a nurse. I applied for 11 times, no show. I applied for jobs. COOs and CEOs and job owners trying to, you know, sexually harass you and all that. But one thing that I never forgot is the who that created me. Always return to the old manual of your life, which is God. He alone can help you to know what your life is purposed for. So I turned to God 2010 when I completed some basic courses that I've done that life wasn't so good for me. It. One thing that I saw in my life was then I still hold on to it is that I am destined for greatness but there are process I need to go through so therefore I realized that I wasn't born by a mistake but I need to go through it and that assurance can only come from God 
So that is the only way to edit your life. You need to go back to God and He will give you the way. He will give you the, the, the instructions. Because the Bible even says that He is the way, the truth and the life. Nobody goes through the Father except through Him. He is the creator of the universe. He owns every single thing. So therefore, what can you do in this world without Him? So if you are stuck, if you need change, if you need attitude in your life, then go back to the manual. Who are your friends? How do they express their view when you have an opinion? When you have an idea? Do they say, oh, forget about this, this would never work? Or they tell you, oh, I think it's a good idea. I believe in you, I trust in you. Give it a try. And I will help you in any way that you want to do it. Do you have such friends? <laughs> but if you don't have such friends, I'm sorry. You have to, you, you, you have to do a new reshuffle among your friends. If you don't have those people that you can sit and talk to and come out with a very positive and beneficial outcome, you indeed need an audit in your life. So reshuffle your friends if you want to move ahead in life. How does your environment influence you? I grew up in a very small village where the only people, the only career I see there, drivers, sellers, KK manufacturers, chopper operators, traders, I'm not looking down on them and I don't look down on them and I will never look down on them because those people in one way or the other I have inspired my life so I ask you how does your environment inspire you is there any way that your environment makes you feel like you can be that person that you're destined to be if yes then good luck but if not then it's time to take a bow it's time to draw the curtain. It's time to move. It's time to take that bold step. When I realized that my my life is purpose for greatness, but that environment that I was living in wasn't the environment for me. I got up and then I left. I just ran away from the house. I had a business that I was kind of like doing. I had a place for myself. I had my own room, but I had to run away from the house and come to the city to go through everything that you can imagine coming to the city. So if the environment that you are living in is not benefiting your progress or is not directly gearing you to your success or your path or your destiny, then please get out. Just move. It doesn't matter where you are starting from. All you need is movement. Just move. Who is your family? Who do you call family? Sometimes there are people in your family that would never want to see you progress in life. They would never want to see you move. They, would, they always want to see you as who that you are. And I come from a society or a family where when you take a step and you come back, they will tell you, Oh, you are back. We are here, we don't go anywhere. All that we do is welcome you when you go and you come back. And those people, thanks to them because they really helped me. When I moved from my village to the city, I went through a lot of things. But one thing that actually made me to stay fast and to hustle hard and work hard to succeed in the little way that I have right now is just those people in my family. Because in my local language, they'll tell you that, oh, akra betu fuya waha, bukwa abu besanaba. It simply means that we, we are here, we don't move. But when you come, you come and beat us. Those people actually inspire me never to go back until I have succeeded. So who is your family? How does your family inspire you? How do they help you? In what way are they influencing in the progress of your life? If they are not helping you, 
it's time to audit them sometimes at some point in time i realized that my the purpose of my mother and my fa my father was to bring me to this end and the rest is god's work because i have been through a lot and everything that i have today is as a result of favor and strangers so therefore what would I, my what would my family do for me if i stay there probably something little but the greater works it was ordained for strangers to do me that good that favor that place that god want me to be so don't be scared but that's your family if you need a change in your life then do something about your family who is your role model how well do you know that so-called role model i used to look from far and say this person is my role model that person is my role model until i got close to the people that we call our role models and trust me it will shock you professionally i'm a television producer director and i've come across a lot of divas a lot of celebrities a lot of so-called role models that you stay in your house and you see them on tv you see them on the mag in the magazine you see them you know on social media and you wish you grew up to be like them how well do you know them does their life correspond to the life you want to become in the future i keep telling people that if you don't know the beginning the journey of the so-called person that you call a stranger your robot and you don't have a personal relationship and the personal contact a personal communication with that person never stay in your house and say i want to be this person because trust me we were all wired differently what that person has been through to become who he is it will surprise you maybe god that god didn't give you that energy that strength to fight to become that person so you would definitely be hoping and believing and dreaming to become that person that you would never become so if you really want to audit your soul we have to check the people that you look up to there are people you are looking up to that for all you know you try to be like them you want to be like them and you don't have that ability to but you are forcing yourself to be like them that is your downfall that is causing you stress that is depressing you i have been in the media for almost two years and i have seen people who think you see them neat, nicely dressed on television, but you meet them in person. Trust me, you regret calling them your brother, because not all the people you see are worth being your brother. Some might even influence you positively or negatively, and that is very draining. So be careful. If you really want to edit your life, check who is your brother. Another way to edit your life is to check how you do with people how do you talk to people how does people see you where does your attitude and behavior gives people that idea to where you want to be because sometimes you might see people you might not even know them but your attitude towards them can actually help them to say things that you would never imagine they can say to you so people can see you and can tell you where you will be in the near future just because of your attitude just because of your behavior just because of how you politely talk to them just because of how you disrespected them so if you really want to edit your life trust me you need to check your attitude check your behavior check how you do with strangers i have come across a lot of strangers who has tremendously been a blessing to me i went to school taken care of by a stranger i got a lot of things through strangers so i believe that i know what i'm saying if you really want to audit your life to see change to see improvement how to talk to strangers how to how to respect because you might not know who is going to be a blessing to your life now the last but not the least that I'm so passionate about when it comes to auditing your life is who are you dating? 
Who are you married to? Do you spend time with? Who do you share your secrets with? Who is that person you live with? You spend more time with? You share your secrets with? What does the person think about you? Does the person inspire you to be better? Or the person always think what is good from you? Is the person frustrating you? I know a woman who married for six years. With, second, with first masters. But she wasn't able to do anything. Because the man she was married to was not inspiring her. He always rejects every idea that he, everything he wants to do for him, for herself. But trust me, this woman, I'm not, I'm not happy that she got divorced. But this woman had businesses, went to do her second masters with a distinction, living happily when he got divorced. So sometimes there are people in our lives that we tend to give our all to. And all that they do is to take our all. So in order to audit your life, in order to see improvement in your life, in order to see that change in your life, you need to get rid of the people in your life. If that man you are living with is not helping you, you don't leave him. If that woman you are living with is not buying into that idea of yours, she is not worth living with. If that man you are living with is always jealous of your success, then please do something about your life. So these are the few things I want to share with you and with you if you really want to edit your life based on my personal life experience that I think when I change all these things in my life, I think I have moved from one level to the other. So if you can relate and you love this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and drop a comment down below and let me know if there's anything that I've mentioned that you think that you can relate and you can share more with us. We would love to hear that. So until we meet again same time, it's a good and Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the 